Hello everyone, this is Terzalis Vando coming to you with a new series or rather a new channel which is going to be dedicated to Dark Souls PvP. Now um, just to give you a little background on myself, um, I've been playing since Demon Souls and um, I really enjoyed that game. That was um, That game blew me away in terms of difficulty level and I guess just the overall I guess just a huge change of pace from what I was used to. I mean, I was playing. I mean, I was playing these games where you just felt that there wasn't much feeling of challenge. And uh, I've been playing. I've been gaming since um, since Genesis, since, um, you know, in Nintendo. And you know, in those times, you used to have a lot uh, greater degree of challenge when uh, you'd um, tackle any game. And it just became a point where slowly over time, games have just been come, just been becoming easier and easier. So when I played Demon Souls, it was a huge. I guess breath of fresh air to be able to encounter something where I was dying left and right. Um, any mistake that I made was punished, and uh, it just made you play harder, concentrate more, grab your attention. There wouldn't be a lot of multitasking. I wouldn't be in a sandwich while I'm playing the game, and um, that was a great thing. That was very good. Now, um, the PvP aspect was also great as well. That that I think is what gave the game longevity and I don't think it's anything different for Dark Souls. While I do believe that the single player campaign is truly great, I think what's really going to give this game some longevity for a great deal of the community is the PvP. And um, that's the reason why I'm here today. Now um, I started playing Dark Souls when it first came out and um, I was um, pretty heavy into the PvP event. But um, I took a long, long break, too long, I mean, to the point where your skill degrades substantially. And uh, now in coming back, I've been back for about a month, I've started, um, my friend list basically was completely devoid of anyone playing the game. So I decided to, you know, free up some space, deleted a couple people off the friend list, reestablished new contacts. And I have to say that in coming back now, I have a much greater degree of appreciation for the game to the sense where I don't think I really looked at the depth of PvP in this game before. I don't think that really occurred to me. Look at this right here. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but one of our many glitches, guy gets knocked up. I mean, we get basically tossed in the air by this guy, and the guy I was fighting got killed from the hit. So if I had a, I guess if he outclassed me a little bit more, I'd be dead too. This guy would have taken us both out with that. I don't know what that is, but um, that'll be something for another video, another topic of discussion. But in any case, um, I don't think previously I realized the depth to which this combat system had, but it does have a lot of depth. There are a lot of aspects to it, but I think it's one of those things is where you get as much out of it as you want. And I guess that differs from person to person. You have, um, I believe that there are some players who they come in here and they're pretty general. They, I don't think the, the desire to reach an elevated level of play or reach the ability to be considered in the, um, in the higher tiers of combat ability is very important to them at this point. And, um, and that's fine. I mean, if you pay your money for your game, you're entitled to play any way that you want. And that can be very enjoyable in itself. You know, you come in here, you get a few invasions. Basically, you do whatever it takes to win. Or, you know, you use any basic tactic to win. And... If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. Some people don't like losing. Some people enjoy winning more than losing. Some people don't really care either which way you put it. But um, that's fine. Then um, you've got another. I want to say, and this is this is definitely the class that I belong to, where when you play, you're not just playing PvP to play. You're playing because you plan to win. Now, in saying that. You're constantly searching for ways to improve your skill, to improve your ability, um, and to look for any method or perhaps any advice or any um, or just any way that you can attempt to be able to improve your ability at the game. Now, that said, I plan to cover a very wide 
a variety of topics in this channel. I want to cover, I mean, this channel is definitely PvP oriented, but I will be covering different aspects of the game. I'm, um, I know that there's a lot that's been already done. So I'm aware of that as well. So what I, what, what I plan to do more is to do a very detailed analysis of methodology for improving your ability in the game. Um, perhaps training regimens that one can employ to be able to improve their ability, different ideas or thoughts. I'm going to cover different subjects that we've been, um, that I've covered. I'm a member of, I am now a member of four different fight clubs of which the, um, the one I'm the most active and is probably one of the most active is uh, the game facts fight club. I want to give a shout out to Elf Merkin. Um, she was the one who invited me and I, and I'm not, I'm not too, um, I'm not 100%, but I believe she's the one who started up that club. And uh, she's doing a fine job as far as managing it. Um, her active participation in the club is excellent. And um, it's a great community overall in there. It's um, a great place to go to find out a lot of information, exchange of ideas. It's great. And a lot of these guys are top-notch uh, top fighters. Um, where I'm actually battling right now is the Berg. This is an undead Berg. Now, this is a great place for um, honing your skills um, to a certain degree. But I don't know if I would consider the majority of the fighters here um, uh, grade A or top notch, so to speak. I mean, these guys are okay to warm yourself up. But if you definitely want to invest your skills or bring it to another level with um, consistent, with consistently good fights, you definitely want to try to join up a fight club if possible. Or if anybody likes, you can feel free to hit me up. Send me a friend request. And I'll be glad to get in a few matches. Now, I myself, I don't want to portray myself as being an expert. Because I'm, I'm far from being an expert. There's guys who have been playing this for, you know, since the game's come out. Non-stop PvP. And I'm sure that there are better skilled fighters out there. That's for sure. And um, that's, without, that's without saying. But I am consistently focused on improving my skill level and improving my ability to a point where I am able to have marked improvement in my abilities on a day-by-day -day basis where I feel that I'm able to assess my skills openly and without reservation. And um, that's very important. And the reason this is important is because you've got a lot of guys out here who say, well, I'm great. And, you know, and, uh, I don't need advice from anybody. I know what I'm doing. And um, I've been doing this a long time. And I got to say that that's BS. Now, for the most part, I can find, even in somebody I might lose to, I can see flaws in their ability or flaws in their technique or perhaps something that they could use or do more of that would help them to improve their gameplay. And that's in everybody. If you look at your own self and your own fighting ability, you're able to perceive, um, I want to say deficits or areas which can definitely use improvement. And that's just without mention. That's without saying. It can definitely happen. Now, there are a lot of things to overcome in this game, which are not even necessary, which, well, I was going to say it wasn't skill related, but even things that you have to overcome, which may be out of your hands, certain degree of skill can help you overcome them. For example, lag. Now, we all know that this game has lag, but any multiplayer game has lag. This is an issue or, or a latency issue. This is something, again, that is without, does not need to be mentioned to a certain degree. Every game has this issue. Now, you can try to compensate for that with skill, and then that can definitely be done. Again, everything for the most part can be compensated to a certain degree by skill and it is by the grand collection of all your abilities in total which helps you to end up eventually winning a battle or overcoming your opponent it's whoever has the greater ability to overcome these issues for example i don't know if any of you might have played call of duty or any other shooter where you have uh, multiplayer interaction there are times when in such a game you'll notice a guy lagging and based on that observation i know that rather than me shooting directly at where this guy is at the moment it would probably be uh, a superior maneuver for me to shoot where i think he's gonna be based on that lag 
in order for me to more effectively get the kill. And I can tell you there's been numerous times, like I play Black Ops 2 as well. There's been numerous times when in a lag situation, I shoot ahead of the guy and I end up catching him. Now, again, that's something that initially I may not have realized right away, but with practice, with me understanding that, hey, there's an issue where I'm shooting at this guy, he's lagging, and all my bullets are missing, you eventually, if that's something that you're paying attention to, and if it's something that's important to you to realize that, hey, if I want to start catching these guys, I have to go ahead and maybe start shooting ahead of them to compensate for this lag. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe, not that I don't believe, it's not a belief, but it's a fact. A lot of people don't share this uh, point of view. We have uh, what I would call whiners. Now, in the sense that rather than them looking to say, okay, well, here's an issue, what can I do to fix it? They're just going to complain. They're going to say, hey, well, it's lag. That's the reason why I lost. This guy's lagging. But for people like that, or for anybody like that, now, again, it's your right if you want to complain. But if you're going to continue to play the game, and you're going to continue to be upset by losing based on an issue that's in the game and there's nothing you're going to be able to do about, it's not going to benefit you in any way. So what you've got to do is look for ways or you look for deficiencies in your ability and ask yourself, what can I do to overcome this deficiency? And once you do this, I guarantee you, you will make a marked improvement. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be a world-class fighter. I'm not saying that either, because, again, that comes down to a lot of factors as well. But I am saying you will have marked improvement right now. The environment of, of PVP is basically, in my opinion, you've got 90 percent of the community, which is pretty horrible at PVP. It is horrible. And I mean, you look at me in the Berg right now. I mean, you look at a lot of these videos. I could stay in the Berg for hours and win 90 percent all my fights. And this is where I'm getting this uh, these statistics from. I feel that I'll stay here for hours and hours and fight the same scrubs over and over again. Guys doing the same tactics, and they just become so predictable. It, it's not that much of a challenge. The only thing it's consistent. That's the one thing I can say. It's you got a lot of consistency here. Other than that, not much. Which is why I recommend getting uh, either building up your friend list to the point where you have enough people that are are. I want to say above average skill level to really hone your abilities because there's only so far you're going to go fighting scrubs. You eventually need to fight some people who have a better class of skill so that way you can improve your own abilities as well. And um, that's definitely beneficial by either building up your friend list with people. I mean, it takes nothing more than if, hey, you come across a guy and he's a great fighter, just acknowledge the fact that he's great. Send him a message. Hey, dude, you, great fight. Uh, here's a friend request, you know, let's get in a few sessions someday and then that's it It's as easy as that um, Or Another method is to try to see if you can find a fight club now you send me a friend request if you're really interested Those are for duels for the most part and um, duels are a great way to hone your abilities as well But um, there's also a great merit in invasions and other things of that manner as well Invading is, can be a lot of fun. It's just a different type of fun and uh, duels are excellent as well. And um, I feel duels hone your skill more because um, it's a higher degree of concentration on improving combat ability. So, um, but both ways have their merits. Now, as far as the channel goes, what can be expected is um, I plan to have a lot of videos on in-depth analysis of weapon categories. I'm going to be doing a lot of weapon comparisons. I want to... Um, do in-depth at armor. I want to explain how the damage formula works into this game for the most part. Um, there's a lot of information that I'm going to be getting from the PC version of the game as far as statistics and information. Um, it's, it's obviously um, superior rather than assuming I can get, I'm able to have exact um, statistical data from PC um, rather than comparing it to a PlayStation 3 version. Both versions are identical, so the information that holds true for the PC version will, for the most part, hold true in, um, for the PS3 or Xbox version as well. Um, in addition to this, I'm going to be... I myself actively engage in training regimens to help improve my own skill set. When I, I'll go ahead and discuss these regimens with you guys if you guys feel like um, you want to participate in... Um, um, skill improving sessions like, such as that you go ahead and I'll share that with you and uh, we'll go through that um, I also plan to do um, different builds um, videos on different build setups 
to help give everyone an idea of how, you know, sometimes switching up the versatility of builds can also help you too. I think sometimes we get stuck in the same exact regimen as far as what we use or what we employ. And you become so used to it, it never occurs to you that you might actually be a little bit better with something else. Because inherently, it's just the way life is, you know. There are certain things which are just agreeable with you naturally for whatever reason and it's always good to explore a variety of options i was a guy for the most part initially i used the same exact build the same exact armor the same exact weapon and the same exact uh, magic for forever i was I never changed it up never switched i'm and it's and i don't want to say i've actually completely rid myself of that the only thing i can say is that I have got myself to where I'm trying out a large variety of different weapons now. So that's um that's just a stage that I'm approaching. And it says everyone we have to go through those stages as well. You reach a point where you want to approach those stages and again objectively look at what you can change and begin to start working on that. Um I wanna say that at first I didn't think there was any point for me to cover what I would consider to be community known information like for example certain aspects of the game which i feel are pretty obvious things to know like um like the dragon covenant you know it's obvious how to get there where to, where to go so it wouldn't occur to me to have to really explain things like that but i want to be as in depth and as detailed as possible so and it has also occurred to me that there's also a, a lot of um there's still a, quite a large amount of new people um starting in this game which I didn't really think so, but I'm meeting a lot of new people online and I get a lot of messages from people saying, you know, hey, that was a good fight. Um, how do you do this? Or they're asking me questions about armor or build concepts. And that actually surprised me because I didn't think there would still be um, an abundance of new players to the point where I'm actually getting questions like this, which is actually great. It um, speaks a lot for the longevity of the game and uh, the life that we still got. And Dark Souls 2 is... Um, it's a decent ways off so there is still a good amount of time to invest in this game before that game drops and to my understanding it'll be different enough that there may cause a separation of groups who may still prefer dark, uh, dark souls as opposed to part two and i think it's uh they've made it a different enough that it's not exactly the same exact game to where everyone will just feel a natural decision would just be to transfer over there may still be people who are saying hey i'm going to stick with dark souls i don't like dark souls 2 there may be some people who will transition completely to dark souls 2 and there may be some people who will jump between both games i see that happening so i don't i don't feel that the end of this game as far as longevity is in sight anytime soon i think this game still has a lot more to go and um and i'm really looking forward to experience now um i've made in my I think um, one of the hallmarks of my personality is I'm always open to suggestions. So if you guys watch the channel um, and you got any advice for me, I'm, I'm willing to take any advice anybody wants to give so as far as moving and improving my gameplay ability. Um, any advice on the channel itself. If you guys like to, would like to see me do um, a particular type of video or uh, um, have just any ideas in general, I'm always open to discussion. Um, as always, if you guys want to hit me on uh, PSN, Send me a friend request. I'm open to that too as well. And um, that's pretty much it. I plan to um, try to upload videos as regularly as possible and, uh, and try to stay as active as possible as in um, replying to anybody's messages or anything along those lines. So that's it. Um, I'm leaving you now with a few Fight Club uh, battles. I think that if you really pay attention, you'll notice the difference in ability to um, my opponents. These are all great guys. Um, I play with them regularly. And um, you'll see a, a definite difference in the degree of uh, difficulty I have in engaging with opponents. A lot more concentration is needed. And I have to be a lot more careful. And uh, they're all great, just great, great, great opponents to be able to get that degree of training. So with that... This is Terry Zellis Vandal, signing out.
Thank <laughs> you.